Why is your face like that? My mother is at it again. What has she done this time? She doesn't want me to live like the king's daughter that I am. I don't understand. I gave her the list of the things I'll be needing as I'm preparing to go back to school. And she said I should... that the list is too long. Is the list long? Yes, it is long. But it's not that my father cannot afford it. Let me see the list. Please, please. You know what? I'll just look at the list and get back to you. Okay. Sister, but I'm going back to school this weekend. I'm just hearing you for the first time. I'll get back to you on a before tomorrow. Okay, sister. You can go. Thank you. He's not inside. Neither is he here as well. Mm -hmm. Where could he have gone to this early morning? How will I know? How? Call his phone. I should call his phone. Call his phone. Call his phone. So. Oh, okay. Here he comes. Chukwadi, where are you coming from? I I went to tell him Banaso to come and pick his goods. How do you mean? He killed my wife and unborn child. Chukwadi, we know. This is no time to apportion blames. Eh? The first thing to do is to take her to the mortuary. Later, we, we, we can do the remaining test. He killed my wife and unborn child. I swear with my life, he can never get away with it. Uh, Chukwadi, you have to be a man like uh, Eloka has said. Of course. Hmm? We are going to have a meeting and deliberate on this. But first of all, let us carry her to the mortuary. Mm -hmm. hmm? I will I'll bring her myself. Hello? You by yourself. Excuse me, I'm coming. It's, it's all right, it's all right. Uh, I see, understand. You have said it all. Let us calm him down. Hmm? Then immediately after taking her to the mortuary, we have a meeting. But that meeting should be after the burial of Chidema. I'm so sorry, baby. I'm sorry I could not protect you from that evil man called Umbanaso. But let me make this promise to you that I must avenge your death. Yes, I must avenge your death even if it is the last thing I do. Even if it means doing it with the last drop of my blood, I must avenge your death. I also want you to fight him from the other side of life where you have gone to. Give him no rest. Fight him until he confesses and dies a shameful death. Hi! Are you sure he did not go inside to cry? Let's wait a little more. If he's not out, then we can go in and check. But on a serious note, we have to find a way to stop Mbanaso before he kills all of us. I already have my plans for him. And when I unleash it, nothing will stop me not to kill him. One thing I keep asking myself is this. Why did he choose to kill us, his family members? Who knows? Maybe that is the instruction the Dibia is working for giving. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Immediately after Chidiman's burial, we have to find a way to stop Mbanaso before he kills all of us. You are right, because one man cannot continue to terrorize us. We are all men. We are all capable. But we still have to be very careful of Umbanaso. He is a wicked soul, very wicked soul. If he gets to find out what we are planning, trust me, he's going to 
go after all of us. That is why we have to keep this within us until we are ready to strike. No, EJ, EJ, as in EJ, Kebe Chuko de Agama, and where did he go? Ezeogwe, looking at you, there's something you are itching to say. Let me hear from the Royal Majesty so that we can deal with it immediately. I will tell you no. I am happy to tell you that I have found a woman that will compliment me. Your Majesty, I don't understand. I have decided to take a second wife. And I have found the one that I want to make my second wife. And the lady in question is from here. She's from Okwe. Are you sure you are ready for this? Oh no, I would not want to tow that route of conversation with you. I have made up my mind on what I want to do. Marrying a woman from Okwe is going to do so many things for me. But the most important would be that it allows me to stand at the sacred place of our journey when the need arises as king of Ogwe. But, Your Majesty, that you have not been doing it has not reduced your power as the king of this kingdom. You have always been the undisputed king of Ogwe kingdom. Hello. I have made up my mind. Being king and not being able to do a few things. And being king and having the freedom to do all the things that I need to do are two different things. Marrying that woman would allow me to do things that before now I could not do. And I need your help. I want your support. I deserve your support as your king. Your Majesty, congratulations then. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, however, uh, there is a problem. What is the problem? My first wife, Winisium. Odera, yes. my sister, my son, and my daughter. These people will object to this move. <sighs> I know. I know. Your Majesty, this is the exact reason I'm asking you to relax and move. Hello. Your Majesty. <laughs> you have a very, very loving family that should not be ruined with polygamy. I thought you just congratulated me now. Why are you talking like this? Let me ask you, Your Majesty. Are you sure that the woman you've just found is truly a daughter of the soil. She's a daughter of the soil. She is from Okwe. She said that to me herself. Oh no. I want you to be the one to speak to Queen Isioma, my first wife. Appeal to her conscience. Make her understand that this is something that I have to do. Something that the king needs to do. Hmm? Please. I am confident that because of the way she respects you, she will listen to you. Oh, 
gracious. The princess came complaining bitterly to me that you turned down her long list. There is no way in the world that I will approve a list as ridiculous as that one. What she's asking for is a ridiculous amount. Did you see the list? Listen, add a little money on that list and you will buy a very beautiful car. What she's asking for can comfortably empower 20 people in this community. How am I supposed to approve of that? I'm not saying you should approve everything. What exactly are you saying? Just look for your way and make her happy. Pick the tangible ones. I've told her to. Work on the list and until she does that, I'm not going to have a conversation with her in that regard. You didn't go to work. No, I'm going to very soon. I see. Odera, I would like you not to get involved with this. Listen, I am trying to raise a child that will not only understand that there's dignity in labor, but one who will understand prudent spending. Well, her complaint was that her father has the money. So because her father has money, it should be wasted on irrelevant things. Exactly. Someone is having my favorite wine. Yeah. I like it. Obviously. <laughs> you know, the way it goes down the throat so easily. Now you're addicted. I'm not as much as I did as you are. There's a one. Yes, yeah, right. What is it? I would like for you to get straight to the point. For as it is, I am. Um, I'm dealing with a lot at the moment, and I cannot accommodate distractions. Hmm? <clears throat> okay, Father. Um, I would like you to help me beg Aunt Odera to employ me in the family palm plantation business. Why? Um, Father, I'm done with my studies. And I think it's time for me to own up as a man and become that independent as I've always wanted for myself. <laughs> My son, yes, I admire your desire for independence and success. You see, I'm a believer of doing things at the right time. Your mother and I found love quite early in life. And so we chose to do the right thing. We got together and we got married. That was us doing the right thing. We had you and your sister. Again, that was us doing the right thing at the right time. I believe that you must do the right thing at the right time. But I strongly feel that the request to begin to work with your auntie, Yodera, is a bit... Uh, premature. If you ask me, I'll say not yet. Uh, um, with all due respect, Father, um, I'm a bit confused. But what do you mean by being premature? I'm, I'm confused. I'll explain to you. 
Nibaye na asina nwata. Kadogo dodo. Uwebe iwe. Uwe si iwe. Okolo oto. Uwe gabi ije. You cannot run faster than your shadows. Okafo. Hmm? One more step before you get to the point that you seek. I would like for you to go for your NYC and serve your father's land. I see. Okay, um, Father, is it compulsory that I serve before going up as a man? Yes. Okay. I think the NYSC certificate is the problem here. Well, not just the NYSC certificate, but also the discharge certificate that will be handed to you at the end of your service here. You see, beyond all of these certifications, I also need you to acquire the experience that comes with service. It's important, Ezema. You are going to need it. Well, um, Father, with exemption certificate and exclusion certificate, they both serve the purpose of discharge certificate. I know. you see in life whatever you circumvent you will eventually come back to beyond all the certifications again I need you to serve your father's land there's a level of experience that comes with service as in one you are my only son. And you are going to sit. On this throne. One day. When I am gone. And the people of Okwe. Would want. Him. As king. I don't want you to be a stooge. I want you to be a man. One who is grounded. One who is not a pushover. Do not skip the experiences that would make you a great man in life. I need you to understand what I am talking about. Huh? When I have stayed my time and joined our ancestors, you are going to become king. And I want our people to know that you're a chief of the old block, that you are your father's son. Do you understand? One step at a time. Go for your NYSC. When you're done, come back to me and let us talk. <laughs> What are you doing here? Uh, Uncle, we are here to sympathize with you for the loss of your wife and your unborn child. Uh, you are here to confirm if the handwork of your father really worked. Uncle, how do you mean? Your father killed my unborn child and my wife. No, this is a heavy allegation on my father. It is not allegation. It is the truth. Your father killed my wife and unborn child and I will make him pay. Uncle, we are really sorry for you, Moses. We are sorry, and I pray that God in heaven will give you the fortitude to bear your loss. Okay, leave my house. Go, just go. Uncle, please don't be angry now, please. Do not say I did not warn you. Get out. 
Uncle, Uncle, we will leave. But please, before leaving, is there anything you would love us to do for you? Please. Like helping you fetch water or even to cook for you? Yes. Please. Um, actually, there are lots of things to help me do. Just stay here and wait for me. I'm coming. God in heaven knows I would have beheaded both of you and sent your hairs to your father. Idiots. <laughs> what is this? Okay. <coughs> what is this? Who is pushing you? Who is after you? Uncle Ella. Uncle Chukudi. Uncle Chukudi. What happened? We, we went to pay him a condolence visit and he chased us away. Who sent you on a condolence visit? What, 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 what do you mean by that? You heard me loud and clear. Who sent you on a condolence visit? The manner of approach you have on this issue is making us believe what people are saying about you. Exactly, Papa. The man who lost his wife and, uh, and unborn child is your brother. I mean, your blood brother. In fact, he's the last born of your father. I, I, are we not supposed to go to him and condole with him, sir? You see, uh, both of you don't seem to understand what is going on here. If you will listen to me, as your father, I will advise you to stay away from all of them. All your so-called kinsmen, stay away from them until it is proven that I, Mbanaso, I have no hands in what is happening to them. That is it. Everything is turning into a mystery. And it's tearing the family apart. My worry is that all along they have been accusing Papa for being wicked, for doing evil. But none of them has said that I caught him doing this or doing that. It has always been accusation and counter-accusation. It keeps me worried. They believe that Papa is diabolic and he's sending the attack spiritually. I don't know. Ah, they have scored Chelsea again. What did I do to Chelsea? Guys. Chelsea cannot win any match. I don't understand. I, I'm sorry that... Why wouldn't you want me to offer you something? Oh no, well, thank you very much for your benevolence, but I'm okay. Sure. Of course. Uh, it is just that it is against our tradition to have dry discussion with the queen under the roof of a noble. <laughs> oh no, but this is on my request. If I need anything, I will not hesitate to let you know. That's all right. Well, let me go straight to the point. Yes, please. Uh, your husband, I'm talking of our king, the king of Okwe Kingdom, feels he's not complete as a king and that you have a role to play in making him complete. Can you please shed more light on that? I'm talking about he's being able to pray to Aja by himself instead of sending me to you know to do that for him when the need arises. If my husband wants to pray to Aja, then let him go ahead and do whatever it takes to have that privilege. Really? Uh, but you know that he still cannot do so eh? as long as he has only you as his wife. Our tradition forbids the king from praying to Ajahn when the queen is not a daughter of the soil. I am queen. 
it is my conjugal right to stand beside and behind my husband. If my husband wants to pray to Ajay himself, I will not stop him. All he needs to do is go ahead and do whatever it will take or give whatever it will cost to be able to do that. Are you saying that the king is free to marry a second wife? Eh? That must be a daughter of Okui, a daughter of the soil. Yes. Yes, so the thing is, if marrying a second wife or marrying a daughter of Okui will make my husband a fulfilled man, then why do I have to stop him? He's free. <laughs> hey! Now I know why he married you against all odds. <laughs> My queen, you are a woman full of wisdom. <laughs> Thank you, Ono, for the compliment. Thank you. Uh, how is your lovely family? Where is everybody? Well, at the moment, I am a married bachelor. Why? Well, My wife is gone for a moment. And the baby of the house, my last born, is a way in school. <laughs> That's a beautiful thing. Congratulations, Olomi. How is the newborn doing? Oh, enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> enjoy your life, bro, baby boo. Come to think of it, I haven't seen your man in a while. Mm. That one. Okay, forget about him. Uh-uh. From the way you responded, I don't need anyone to tell me that all is not well. Mm. Nothing much though. Come on, what's the problem? He has run off again. <laughs> you know his second name now? Oboso. I may need you to run some lights on that because I don't understand what you're saying. After the engagement. I think this is the best time to do this. Best time to do what? <sighs> From me to you. <laughs> Wait a minute. Did you just engage me? What does it look like? You shouldn't want it? <laughs> of course I want it! <laughs> So let's go. Uh, not so fast, baby. This calls for celebration. Yeah, I know it calls for celebration, but I have some important things I want to do right now. Can we go? All right, all right. Maybe later we will celebrate, Very but well. we must. Definitely. <laughs> Definitely. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> my wife. Drinks sometimes. I must tell you. Are you sure she was not holding a bottle of drink at the time of this conversation? Your Majesty, I will disappoint you. She wasn't drunk. Perfectly okay. <laughs> <laughs> Did she give you her reason for not objecting? I mean, I'm surprised. Well, Your Majesty, the Queen understands that aspect of African tradition that allows you to marry as many wives as you want as a king. Ah. This is good news. Yes, it is. <laughs> 
My name is Zach Orji, and I'd like to encourage you to watch quality Nollywood movies on Sony Reaching Nolly TV. My name is Frederick. My name is Yo, Yo Edoche. Go and subscribe to Sony Reaching Nolly TV.